not gonna lie to you, for the past couple of days I have been struggling to find the muse and I have been struggling to find the right thing to talk about. But there was one thing, one thing in particular that was bothering me the whole time. One thing of all of WWE, one thing of all of AEW, or one thing of all of wrestling. And can you guess what this thing is? You guys know the thumbnail, know the title, you know what it is. The introduction of the CEO Mercedes Monet or Sasha Banks to AEW. Let's just say as an introduction that her theme song absolutely sucks. Okay? Can we all agree about that? Because it is true. I don't care that it is a song that everyone can sing along to. I just didn't like the fact that it sucked. Let's take it as a song. Let's look at all of the songs that people sing to. Let's see Seth Rollins' song. Amazing song in my gym playlist, 10 out of 10. Cody Rhodes' songs. Amazing song, 10 out of 10 in my gym playlist. Roman Reigns' song. No one sings to, but it's a banger, kind of. I kind of don't like it as well, but let's say it's 7 out of 10. In Mercedes Monet's song, I don't like it at all. I didn't like it when he was introducing her other song in New Japan Pro Wrestling, but do you know what I liked? Her first song on the main roster. It was amazing, it was so good, and I hated it when it was Snoop Dogg added to the mix. By the way, I feel like Snoop Dogg is ruining all the songs that he gets included in lately, but that's a topic for another discussion. Sasha Banks, Mercedes Monet, the CEO of AEW. What do you guys want to talk about? She's the boss, she's the CEO, she's the uh, million figure thingy. I don't get the hype. This is what is bothering me. I don't get the hype. I have heard bajillion things online about Mercedes Monet slash Sasha Banks that were bothering me and I'm not sure if they were true or not, but I just want to say it. There was a rumor that Sasha Banks left WWE because she wanted the salary of Becky Lynch and it was refused uh, this salary to be given to her. And uh, to do this, I would say, of course, how do you expect to get the money of Becky Lynch? I'm sorry, but at the end of the day, this business is about putting asses to seats. And sorry, but Sasha Banks is not as big of a name as Becky Lynch. She cannot fill up an arena. Maybe she can fill up an arena in Boston, but Becky Lynch can do that as well. And she's not from Boston. Can you imagine what she's gonna do in London? Or anywhere in England? Can you? Also, I've heard online that right now Sasha Banks or Mercedes Monet is the person that she's that is taking the most money in the wrestling business. And to that, I would say congratulations, you made it. But this is a horrible investment. It is what it is. Don't get me wrong, boys and girls. Sasha Banks is one of the greats. Top four. In this top four, it's top three. So it's one of the best. It's one of the best. No, maybe it's top four. Maybe it's top five. I don't know. But she's one of the best. No question about it. But there is something missing there. When she was with WWE, the presentation was there. The attitude was there. The promos were there. Everything is there. When she got out in AEW, everything felt... Do I, do I hear crickets around? No, there is no way I hear crickets in my house. But you guys hear crickets when Sasha Banks is cutting a promo in AEW. Exactly, it's, it feels a little bit empty. And I know that right now she's having some history in the indies that is going into AEW and all of that stuff, but... It kind of is, it's, oh, I want to scream so bad. Sasha Banks 
or Mercedes Monet. I don't know how to call her right now. Probably I'm gonna start calling her only Mercedes. Is the reason why I haven't been uploading for two days. Because for four days I have her in my notes and I want to make a video about her. And for four days I cannot figure out what exactly to talk about her. I want to talk about her. I want to give eyes for her. Or maybe I want to get attention because of her. But there is nothing to talk about my brother. There is nothing to talk about except her gross ass song. Nothing else. It literally, there is nothing else to talk about. She just appeared and everyone was chanting CEO. Some people on Twitter were saying that these CEO chants were piped out, but I don't think so. Anyway, it doesn't matter if they're piped out. It, the, I don't care. I care that right now there is a, some story buildup with Willow Nightingale that no one understands about. I thought that she's gonna be enemy with Willow, but now she's friends with Willow. And is she going to the TBS championship? Well, she's the CEO and actually it's better for a CEO to go after the women's championship. I don't understand. I hope today, today is dynamite to understand more about the direction that she's gonna go and the storyline that she's gonna build and all of that kind of stuff. Because otherwise she is not gonna win my spot in the arena. Not that I'm gonna go ever into US for her match, but still, still, you, you get the point. Anyway, I just want to say, in conclusion, I'm not trying to hate on her. It's just an awful song. And she's not as good as Becky Lynch or Rhea Ripley. And that's it. Sorry. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna see you in the next one. Peace.